Hello everybody and welcome back to Fishing Sim World Pro Tour. Today we're going to be scouting the new lake. I have no idea what lake it is. Go to career mode. It is the Sun Belt Open. The Sun Belt Open. Now what you can do is you can click on this, right? And you can do practice event. But what I, would, I don't want to happen, I don't want this to... Uh, oh, right there. Lake Johnson, Florida. Perfect. Uh, I don't want to click on this and then it'd be like, oh, you have 20 minutes. Like, no, 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 no. We're going to be scouting for a very long time today. We got to we gotta make sure we do this right. So we're going to back out of career mode. We're going to go to customize. Nope. We're going to go to play now. We're going to go a fishing trip. And it was somewhere in Florida. I've already forgotten. Is it here? Nope. Oh my goodness. Lake Johnson, Florida. I think it was this. Hold on one second. We're gonna go back and just check. I'm kind of an idiot. Yep, Lake Johnson, Florida. Perfect. Play now. Fishing trip. Lake Johnson, Florida. Look at that. There's only one species of bass. I assume because it doesn't let me hover over and say largemouth bass. It just has beautiful colored pictures that. I don't know. I don't know. But we're going to go there. Light clouds, afternoon. Bass default tackle box. Sounds good to me. Taking our old boat out. We have three places here to pick from. Looks like some kind of industrial or deforested area up here. Some type of ancient Mayan burial grounds over here. And then Baker's Bay. Uh, you know. Nothing, nothing, nothing fancy about Baker's Bay. Just good old fashioned bay. Uh, we'll start up here. Start up here. Well, no, we're not. I don't know where we're gonna start. I don't know. I don't know where we're gonna start, folks. It's uh, it's a crapshoot. It's a crapshoot. Oh no! Now we get to pick up here, and we're gonna make our way all around this friggin' lake, and we're gonna scout it out. We're gonna find some great places to to fish bass. Boop. Hey, but before we get started, I just want to take one minute here to mention my sponsor, Bait Shack. Bait Shack has all that you need in order to get your fishing game on. If you're worried about competing against other anglers, yourself, or maybe even the fish, the last thing you want to worry about is the type of bait you're taking with you. But at Bait Shack, they have the highest quality baits at reasonable prices. Please come down to Bait Shack today. Use our bait once and you'll be hooked. Bait Shack. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, look at the reeds. What? Man, oh man. We bet we could find ourselves some nice fish in those bad boys. Look at that. Look at that. You know, I when it said Florida, the first thing that came to my mind, the first thing that came to my mind were, was this like wannabe wetlands type thing, which I think we got going on, right, Cha? Let's just see how it goes. Oh, hold on, what am I? I don't even know what lure I'm using. Mm, let's see here. Yeah, not the deep diver. Not the deep diving lure. I wouldn't think. I wouldn't think, because it's being pulled to the surface. Ergo, vis-a-vis, -vis, not deep diving. Come here. Perfect. Let's do that one more time. Just for fun. Just to get into these reeds and see what's up. Boop. Love it. And that's only that's only four feet deep there. I mean that's not that's deep, but that's not that's not super duper deep. That's not perfect strike. Thank you. I've been working on that. You can, if you're if you're reeling it in at a constant speed, you can just flick your mouse to set that hook. But he, there's also a right mouse button where he actually pulls it a little quicker. So I think the idea is if you can't, if you can't uh, flick your wrist like that that quick, then you can just hit the right mouse button, which is really nice to see because I know that some gamers have problems. Um, you know, just 
you know, handicapped gamers have problems with some of the stuff. So it's nice to see that that, that little feature is in here. That's pretty cool. All right. Is it a bass species? It does look like a largemouth bass. I, I kind of guess that because of the green on the back. And it's six pounds. That's not bad. That's not bad at all, folks. That's pretty cool. All right. So if we start off right there at that dock, there's a little place right here where we can score some largemouth bass. There's some, a place right here. And I, I'm just going to assume this is like a, a bass man's paradise. Because look at all this right here. If any of the lakes, if any of the lakes you probably could have fished without scouting, I would think Lake Johnson in Florida would be one of the easiest ones to fish without scouting. Like those lily pads there, they have to. They have to be teeming the absolute friggin' brim with, uh, with, uh, with bass. Okay, but that's what the north part of the lake offers, okay? So I think we're good here. I think we're good on that. North part of the lake, tons of lily pads. Um, you know what? We, we technically haven't fished a lily pad. We fished the, the weird reeds over there. This grass here, I'm just going to say, is good for us. Let's go ahead and let's just, uh, let's, let's go ahead and fish the, the lily pads. And maybe, maybe this is the exact same thing I just fished. I, I see the little things popping up out of the water now, which leads me to believe that, yeah, in fact, it is. But let's just, uh, let's just go. Let's just go and see. No harm in fishing on a fishing video game. But we definitely need to get closer to one of the other uh, boat ramps and just check out that location. I like this, this north part. I hope they kind of throw us in up here. I'd be okay with that. Stand me up to the mountain. Up it down with the side of my hand. Is that on the is that on the bank? I almost feel like that's on the bank. In the water now. <laughs> Largemouth bass over there. I mean, just right off the... I mean, and that'll give you a ton of time to fish it, too, you know? That last video, we came back from the dead. I mean, we came back from 100% down and out the dead to land that friggin'... Uh, to land that, so... And that's just because we had to drive so far away. We had not properly scouted. We had not properly scouted that area. I'm going to try to use the right mouse button this time to set the hook. Hmm. All right. Now this area here doesn't look like it's going to be that prosperous. Oh, you can't go in there, it says. You cannot go in there, it says. So that leads me to believe that there, maybe there aren't fish that, that populate that spawn over there. Because it's not really, it's not really the lake. It's just like a graphical asset, you know what I mean? So... Again, you have to click here, then you can turn there. So weird that you can't just face whatever direction you want and cast. Like you have to play that little dinky game. I'll let this go all the way kind of down to the bottom before I start reeling it in. Here we go. You ever watch the, uh, like they used to have them at these, um, fishing expos or at the bass pro shop or whatever, where they'd have a gigantic tank full of bass and they would throw lures in there and they would show you how the lure would like pull a, a bass, like a bass would see it from its like little hidey hole and be like, Oh man, that looks delicious. I'm going to go for that. All right. One more time right here. And then we're going to move on. See, this is why we do this. You know, this is why we do this. I would have thought that would be prime, 
prime time uh, place right there to catch a fish. Especially a bass, but for whatever reason, just not coming up. I saw some fish on the fish finder, though. Maybe they're in the area now. Maybe they're in the area now. Hmm. Da 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 da. Okay, I don't like th I don't like that. So there we go. If we were out and about, I would have told you that would be a great place, but perhaps not. I'm gonna go back over here and look at the other place we caught that largemouth bass and see if it how it differs from where we just came from. Where was it? it? Wasn't there? I think it was just right here. Yeah, I, think, I feel like it was right here. I'm not 100% sure. How does it differ? It was still the lily pads. Hmm. Couldn't tell you. I'd like to have at least two areas. Look at the size of that friggin' fish. That's big. You know, I wonder. I wonder. I'm just going gonna, gonna to do this. I haven't fished like, quote, quote, ah, damn it. I haven't fished, quote, quote, deep water. And I guess what I mean to say is open water. Like, I've, I don't think I've ever fished where I just throw it out here in the open. I always try to get it up, you know, next to a log or a down tree. Like, I try to find something that I assume the bass is going to hang out inside of. Like, I wonder if they're an open water fish. I wouldn't think they are. I wouldn't think they are. Fish there. Fish right under the boat. I'll throw it out there one more time. You know what I'm saying though, like, like I don't know, I don't, I don't fish, but I, I would assume bass don't do this. I feel like anytime I've watched a fishing show where they catch bass, it's always been close to the bank, close to rivers. Not well, not rivers, but like, kind of that idea where the water is shallow and there are places where, you know, the the water like stagnates, so it's nice and smooth, and still. Yeah, I didn't think you could just come out here and throw it anywhere. Okay. All right, well, that suspicion is confirmed. So we have one little area there behind us that paid off once with a large mouth bass. Let's go up. Let's go up this way and see. Just, oh, look at the fish there. Look at that gigantic one. Holy crud. I, I think I need to buy more... Like the line, like the higher resistance line. I think I'm only, I'm only bringing in like seven pound test line or something. Man, look at all this vegetation up here. And look at this little area. It's almost so dense with vegetation. Can you just go through this stuff? Look at that. I suppose you can. Let's try this. Let's just try this right in here. This little, I mean, look at that. I would think this is where you'd find bass. Like, I think this is where they would be. Tons of, of, of obstructions. Like, I don't know what other animal eats bass. I would assume it's birds. I don't think there's other fish that would, maybe like gar, like maybe some fish like specifically designed to eat other fish. I wouldn't think there's a lot that, that take out bass. Maybe it also would be a good idea to drive until I see fish on the fish finder. <laughs> and then stop there. I'm sure some of you who know how this game is played are like that. Like, dude, if you would just drive till you find like tons of fish. 
you have a much better time of it. I got fish here. I got fish here. Right here through those weeds. Let's see what happens. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know, folks. I thought this would be easier to find a place. When I first like got on this lake and I saw all these things, I was like, this is going to be easy. And so far, we've only got one largemouth bass. Huh. I don't know. I wonder what the pencil one does. I wonder if the pencil one would be good here. We have another, this pencil bait. Like, I wonder if it would be good for this area. Because it, like, would float on the water. Or so, I don't know. If you read the description, sometimes they're not, they're not very helpful. It would be nice if they were much more helpful. If they would say, like, this lure is ideal for shallow water bass fishing. This lure is ideal for deep water bass fishing. I'm seeing, I'm seeing fish kick up. Like, I've seen it twice now. I thought that was like a, a glitch or a graphic or something, but no, it's fish. They're kicking up in there. I just can't get one to be interested in the Frank bait I got going on here for whatever reason. I'm glad I'm glad this isn't the tournament. I thought this would be good places to hunt fish for bass. I thought this would be their natural habitat. You see, one just jumped up right there next to the lure. As it passed by, another one jumped up back there, too. Another one jumped right there. Like they're all jumping over there. I just don't know why we're not sealing the deal here. There's there's lunch, fellas. There's lunch. Maybe it's not bass. Maybe it's not bass. Oh, there was only one symbol this time there weren't three symbols there was only one symbol and the one symbol the only fish we've caught so far the only bass species we've caught so far was that largemouth bass i wonder if this lake doesn't have spotted and smallmouth if this lake only has largemouth bass and if that's true then i wonder if largemouth bass only live in certain areas Like largemouth bass only live in areas where the water is at least 10 feet deep. Like they will not live in shallow water. I wonder if that's the deal. And here we are just fishing 7 feet of water. And like they're just not going to spawn here. Because they're not going to spawn here, none of these fish. And because we're using a crankbait, which is specifically for bass, that there are fish here. But they're just not interested in, in the bait we're throwing Mm-hmm. Hmm. That would be my most educated guess as to what's going on here. Because we've seen two gigantic fish, three gigantic fish on the radar right now. But I don't think... I haven't even seen them come up after the bait. You know how sometimes you can look in the water and you can see them come up after the bait? I haven't even seen that. I haven't, I haven't even seen them, like, like, like just trolling around. Mm, I think that's our, our issue here. I think the fish we're seeing are just not largemouth bass. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Well, that, that gives me something to look into. I got to figure out whether or not we've only caught one stinking fish in 19 minutes. All right, we got to get out of this area. I've given it enough. I've given this enough play. It's just not working out. 
All right. That's why we do these scouting missions, folks. That's why we do these scouting missions. All right. So I don't want to have to shoot that gap and go in there and get all wedged up in that place. I'm going to come back over here to where I caught that first bass. I'm just going to look at the conditions. I'm going to look at the conditions for that area. There's our, there's our truck. We didn't, uh, we didn't put our truck back where it's supposed to be. We didn't, we didn't take it out of the water. So what is this? Six feet deep here. Hmm. So why is that six feet deep? Like, why did that work? Is that just a good place to fish? Is that just a, like the game, the deve the developers put in a little hot spot? Is that what that is? Let's go up here to this little dead island and see what up is up with this. This deforestation area. It can't be one of those places where that's submerged sometimes because the land, the same elevation is everywhere. If that's submerged, so is everything else. Florida is the... Oh, wow. It actually gets pretty deep here. Florida is actually one of the... Uh, let's stop at a deep part. There's a lot of fish here. Or there were until I came in with my loud-ass motor. All right, this, this is 22 feet. Let's get out here and let's just throw. Let's just see what happens. Ah, gosh darn it. Now this one, I am going to change to the deep water one. I'm going to bring this in. I'm going to change to the deep water. The diver, rather. Not quote, quote, deep water. One of these days, I'll have enough courage to actually hit the line clip button. Let's deploy the motor, too. And let's, let's just kind of, let's just kind of go. there perfect right down to 15 feet no fish in the area though Turn off that way. Now we're getting some fish. Now we're getting some fish. Well, I said that, hoping that fish would show up on the on the uh, fish finder, but nothing. Oh, man. I mean, I'm actually getting very worried now. Yeah, I'm probably going to pause the video, too. I'm going to pause it. We're at 23 minutes. I'm going to pause. Uh, I'll bring you back when I got something on the hook. Okay, so this is the second fish I've caught, and it's been 40 minutes, and I... I got it on, or not, I'm not even caught it yet. Uh, the pencil bait. And I, I know how the pencil, I know how the pencil bait works now. So I'll, I'll talk to you about it when I get this guy on the boat. Let me concentrate for right now. I think this is a large fish. God bless it. Okay, so here's the deal. Um, I've been at this for about an hour, hmm, 40 minutes. And uh, I've only managed to land one, and I just hooked that one. And I can't figure it out. Like, the pencil bait, that only stays on top of the wall.
Okay, maybe I figured it out. God bless. If I could just set my hook. Pencil bait only stays on top of the water. It doesn't sink at all. Literally, it it's supposed to do just what it's doing right there. It stays on top of the water and it makes a lot of agitation, right? That agitation is supposed to mimic a dead or dying fish. And you're supposed to be able to get great uh, returns off of this. It's like one of the most popular uh, lures for bass. Um, I have not been able to make this work. Um, I just saw a fish right over there, by the way. So give me a second here. I'm gonna throw it where I saw it. Um, so I'm thinking that, you know, maybe in these lily pads, right? Like maybe where there's a bunch of, uh, lilies and stuff, maybe the pencil bait is the way to go. Like maybe there's just something about the agitation and the lilies that just, you know, the fish here at Lake Johnson dig, but, uh, that one largemouth bass, that's all I've caught here. That's it. I've had an insanely hard time trying to make this work. Um, and I don't even know if pencil bait is the way to go, to tell you the honest truth. Like, I don't know if this is, like I said, I'm sure there's people out there who are watching this and they've played this map before. They know something about the real life Lake Johnson and they're like, dude, like it is known for its mid range, five feet, six feet largemouth bass like no one uses pencil bait no one uses the diver like this is 100 percent seven foot deep country here and i just don't know that the only two strikes i've gotten in the last 20 minutes is off this bait though like everything else like i even i even stopped in the deepest water i could find and i sent that crankbait down like over and over and over and over and i turned on the trolling motor to try to like move around a little bit no returns no return there we go there we go now you have to go the opposite direction of wherever the movement is right so we saw that guy he was taking the bait to the left and i just i pulled it to the right so opposite direction okay we're gonna have to scout this in more than one video like that's all there is to it and I think I'm going to need to get, well, the line isn't breaking. It's not the breaking of the line. It's the setting of the hook that's the problem. Okay. Woo. Another largemouth bass because of that green. Uh, five pounds probably. Yep, six pounds. Cool. All right. So what did we learn in this video? Because I got to stop because <laughs> I got to move on. I got other things to do. What did we learn in this video? Number one, Lake Johnson, kind of a jerk. Right, we're really going to need to scout this location out. We're not going to get lucky here. We're going to have to earn this. Okay, two, pencil bait stays on top of the water and agitates. This lake is shallow, and I know what you're you're saying. You're saying no, it's not. You're, I also know you're saying fish while you talk. I can't do two things at once. Um, I, I'm not saying that the that the the whole lake is shallow. Okay, I'm saying the place where I'm probably going to be fishing is probably going to be shallow. You see what I'm saying? Like, I'm not, I don't believe that bass live at extreme depths. And maybe I'm dumb and maybe you're laughing at me, but I, I feel like they are like 12, 15, 17 feet of water, I think might be the deepest that you're going to realistically draw these animals in at. Okay, so I'm going to be looking at the shoreline. I'm going to be looking at these patches. Um, I, I feel like the pencil bait and the uh, rat trap, I, I forget the name of it, the mid-range, I'm going to call it the, like the mid-range lure. Like I feel like those two are going to pay dividends here. I don't think that the deep diver is. I know the deep diver saved us in one of those videos. I think it, maybe the last one, but I don't think it's going to do it here. So um, consider this the north part scouted. Um, I'm probably going to play a little bit more off camera. That way I don't have to figure out like what I'm going to say and if I've got good content, if it's not boring. Um, I'm going to probably play a little bit off camera just to get my feet underneath me here at this lake. I feel like this lake though, and I was I was feeling like on the way home, 
yesterday, I was like, okay, what do I have to do tomorrow? Got to make this video. And I was saying to myself, I was like, man, this video is kind of like this video game. I feel like doesn't have a lot to offer. Uh, the bass are always in the same place and they always have the same fight. Um, like, I just, I just don't see this game taking me to new heights. And then I hit this lake and was like, okay, well, you know, <laughs> there's more going on here than, than, uh, than I think. So, uh, yeah, I'll give this a couple of more throws just so you can kind of see my frustration. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and we'll call it. I have to go hunting after this. I know my life is, it's so rough. It's so rough, but I gotta go hunting after this. I'd like to get some breakfast, too. I, I skipped breakfast. Because I thought this was going to be an easy video. I was like, this is going to be an easy video. I'll just... There we go. Perfect strike. Again, going the opposite direction. I feel like the pencil bait is the way we're going to go here in Lake Johnson. I feel way more comfortable with it than I do the deep diver or the our traditional. I think it's called a rat trap. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to look here. We'll get this guy on board. But this is the north part scouted. Don't you do that. Don't you break the line. Thank you. Man, this guy goes right back up. A lot of fight. My technique is that I always fight, like right as soon as they they give me a little bit of slack, like I'm going to start fighting. Oh, I'm going to start fighting again. I feel like that wears them out. You know what I mean? Like, I, I think if you let them run too long, I think it's just going to give them too much time to recover. Look at that monster. Holy crap. Yeah. Trophy catch, 12 pounds, 15 ounces. That is an absolute friggin' monster! I'm gonna check my bed at night, make sure that thing's not underneath it. That's a pretty freaking fish right there. Okay, consider that part one of Lake Johnson. We're only gonna do a two-part series. I'm gonna go uh, fish this lake off camera, and I'm gonna find a couple of places that I'm going to fish at the dip. I'm going to have two places per dock. The first, second, third dock. I'm going to have two places I'm going to go fish in case the first place sucks when I start start the tournament. Um, da, 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 da. But I'm going to fish off camera. Part two, I'm just going to drive up to those places and say like, this is where we're going to here. This is where we're going to there. This is, this is the bait we're going to use, or this is the lure we're going to use here. Um, blah, 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 blah. And then we'll start the tournament. We'll ace the tournament, get more money. And remember, Bait Shack for all your Bait Shack needs. Thank you, folks. Have a great day. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.